Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Thank you. Good. Did you have a good day? Yes. Yeah. Good. Were you in your house or did you go somewhere? In my house. My house. <laughs> okay. Resting. Okay. That, that's good. All right. So, uh, what is today's date? Today's date? July 31. Um, Okay, do you, do you say 31 or do you say 31st? Which one is better? 31st. 31st. Remember that uh, in English, every day is ordinal. First, second, third, okay. fourth, fifth, and so on. It's different than Spanish because in Spanish, it's only the first day. You say primero de diciembre, what is the following day? Dos. So in Spanish we say primero de abril. What is the following day? Dos de abril. Primero de enero. What is the following day? Dos de enero. So in Spanish, only the first day we use it as ordinal. But in English, every the whole calendar is ordinal. So today is 31st, 2020. Welcome back. This is our last class of the week. Um, next week we have um, vacation. So um, before we start, let's briefly speak about what we did yesterday. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Mm -hmm. What do you remember from yesterday? What is promotional activity? How do you create successful promotional activity for your restaurant products? Very good. We were discussing, thank you, Araceli. We were discussing about um, how to promote products, you know, like uh, techniques or strategies on how to increase your sales. Very good. And can you mention one technique to increase yes. sales? Create uh, a page in a website. Good, create a website. Yes, everybody uses technology now. Everybody has a social media. So a website is a good technique. Can you think about another option besides the website? Give a promotional offer. Okay, like, uh, can you give me an example of, of a promotional offer? Mm, two for one. Two for one. Good, good. Someone else has um, any suggestions on how to increase sales? No? Okay, um, did we talk about something else yesterday? Did we talk about a... a, a any other topic? Uh, we talk a little about the models. Yes. Which models, um, Sophia? Wood, can. Okay. Uh, wood, can, should, might, must, all of them are models. Uh, what are the two that the book has for yesterday's and today's lesson? Hmm. What? Uh, what? What are the two models in particular that the book has programmed for yesterday and today? Um, yesterday, would. Are you sure? Would or could? Could. 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 Yes. Might. Could and might. Could and might. Remember that the rule says when you're using models, con, can, uh, might, should, must, whatever, the form of the verb is always base form. You can never put ed, you can never use ing. Uh, so they always have to be base form. 
Some of them have single function, some of them have double function. So it depends which ones you are using. Okay, um, any questions or comments about yesterday? No? no. Do, you, do you guys remember uh, Fiestas de Agosto in the year 2019? Did you have uh, plans? Did you do anything for Fiestas de Agosto last year? Yes. Yeah. What is it? Visiting my house. You, you were in your house, Araceli? Yes, in my house. Okay, good. Now this year, is going to be very different for everybody. You know, like, you know, like you compare last year with the plans that you have for next week, they are very different. So that's going to be our first, yes? But do you have other options? For example, you, you, you can buy a little pool and you put in your garden, so. Right. You can, you can share with your family or friends. Right, right. Yes. Yeah, it, it's, it's true. You can, you can buy a swimming pool, you can and bring it to your house. Right. Okay. So that's going to be your first activity. I'm going to give you a few minutes. So you guys talk and you will ask each other, what plans do you have for next week? Blah, 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 blah. You start talking. So let me make the rooms i i will make six rooms i will make yeah six rooms is enough all right so start speaking What are your plans for next week? No, because I said that on the lab. What are your plans for next week? No, I said, yeah. All right, so start speaking, people. Josué Edgardo, can you hear me? Samuel and Jimmy, Hello. can you hear me? Hello. No. I can hear you. Yes. The, the network. It doesn't work. Okay. You guys are in... I can say what you mean. Yeah, you're supposed to be in room two, but no. Nah. Hello. Can you hear me, Samuel? Is somebody here? Jimmy, can you hear me? Hold on, let me try something. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you, Luis? Fine, thank you, teacher. Uh, I can hear uh, Christian. <laughs> oh, Christian, right. Okay, let me, I have two people waiting. Okay, Samuel will go to room two. Yeah, Christian has problem with his uh, microphone. Give me a second. Okay, so okay. Louis, I will send you to room four. And Christian, I will send you to room five. Room five. Christian Alexander, hold on. Sign to room five. And then Christian will go to room six.
it sounds like like a, a great week. <laughs> um, uh, very very busy. A very very busy week. week. Yes. Where what, what, what are they doing? Well, in your story. Case, okay, I, uh, let me let me let me think. For example, the first option uh, it's for example tomorrow uh, we will go with my girlfriend to EPA because we okay. want to buy a, a little swimming pool and maybe uh -huh. put in our in our garden. So uh -huh. this is the first option, but we have uh, a second option and maybe it will be that we we will see um, movies on netflix so and what is epa ronald well i see it uh, near for los proceres okay and what is it imagine that i'm not from el salvador and i say what is ah. I, I don't know how do you say ferreteria, but it's a place where you can buy uh, different things. For exactly. Example, you can you can buy chairs, you can buy stools, you can uh, you can you, buy. Uh huh. Sorry. Can you see the chat. Ah, okay. It's, it's a hardware store. A hardware store, yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can buy material, tools. Uh, hardware store is ferretería. In English, exactly. Freun, okay. Vidri, Epa, that's a hardware store. Yes. Okay. okay. Good, very good. Do you plan to go in the morning or in the afternoon? Maybe in the morning. Okay. But now uh, I just arrived a, a friend to my house in... Uh -huh. Maybe we we will share some beer, so I I need oh. to to get up early tomorrow. Good, but I will try. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. What about you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your Hello. day, Rocio? I'm okay. Is it today was my day off? Oh, so you rested today? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. And, and you work tomorrow and Sunday too? No, it's, it's, no, it's, no sé cómo decir que es indeciso porque me está por turno. Okay, so it's not stable. It's not stable now. Okay, so you don't have a fixed uh, schedule. No, for okay. now, not yet. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Good. Luis, how was your day? Uh, fine, teacher. You, you had a good day? Yes. Um, uh, uh huh. Uh, uh, I worked all day with my co workers. Okay. Good. Let Are me you ask. working at home, Luis? Home office, yes. Mm. Okay. You you're okay. an accountant, Luis, right? Yes, 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 accountant. Good, good. And you, Maria, how was your day? My day is very well. I just stay in my house. <laughs> okay. Do you have children, Maria? Uh, no, for the moment. <laughs> Not for the moment. <laughs> yeah. Rocio, do you have children? No, but I have a sister that she's like my daughter. Okay, good. And you, Luis, mm -hmm. do you have children? Yes, teacher, I have two children. Okay. What ages? Uh, eight. Um, eight. 18 and 15. 18 and 15. So you yes, have a, a, a teenager and a young mm -hmm. adult. Yes, very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Boys or girls? Boys and girls. One each. Young. Who is who is 
15, the boy or the girl? Uh, the boys. And your daughter is the first one. My, my daughter the, the, at the five. See. Is the first one. Okay, very good. Okay, let me visit other rooms. Toda la semana, all the, all the week free. Um, and I stay in my, in my home with my husband and my child. And maybe we cook something different and put the pool with, for, my, for my child, for my kid. I don't know. The two it's, options are good. You can say child, okay. you can say kid. Kid, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Sounds pretty good. Yes. Maybe we we watch a, a movie. I don't know. Okay. Do How something old? different. Yes. Yeah, right. I mean, if it's vacation, is your husband on vacation too? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the idea is to do something different. Yes, good. with my child. Good, good. Magdalena, how was your work yesterday? Yesterday, um, I am... Um, what time did uh, you finish? Uh, yes, uh, um, uh, I, I teach yes. <laughs> este, How do you uh, say tarde in English? Uh, I... Jimena, how do you say tarde in English? Last? Late. 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 Did you finished late yesterday? Yes, uh, finished late yesterday. Um, uh, boy? Today? Uh, today? Uh, 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 be, uh, ay, no tengo las palabras, teacher. Okay. Este, and you, are you an, an engineer, Magdalena? Sí, an electrical engineer. Oh, and este, you work for CAES? Eh, no, um, Unifer, University of El Salvador, uh, because uh, 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 responsible uh, uh -huh. uh, my person the the la, the la, the emergencies uh -huh. uh, electrical and in life primary yes uh, tension uh, 20 23 uh, kilovolts yeah kilowatts uh, kilowatts uh, como se lo en español es igual lo ocupamos estaba yeah. nula en inglés yeah yeah and, and today uh, verificamos hoy que we todo verified. we verified uh -huh. that we verified. everything was normal ajá uh ajá -huh. uh -huh. okay um, muy temprano hoy very early very early okay, okay. good good uh -huh. all right Christian welcome hello teacher how are you I I was, bueno, I am, um, esta palabra siempre me olvida, cansado. Tired. Tired. I was tired. I, I am tired in this moment. Okay. Did you go to San Salvador today? No, 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 no. I, oh, you're I doing home my, office? In, in model home office. Okay. Good, I, good. I work today to 8 o'clock. Okay. You finish at 8 o'clock. Yes. All right. Good. Magdalena and Jimena, they want to explain to you what we're doing. Please. They say, Christian, where's Christian Omar? We want to speak with him. <laughs> so there exactly, teacher. Yes. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Marcela. How are you? Hello. Fine, and you? Good. Where were you yesterday? Were you I was sick. You were sick? Yes. Really? Are you are you better today? Yes, I'm better. Yes, migraine, ¿cómo se dice? Migraine. Yes. Migraine. You suffer migraine. migraine. 
Yes, a lot. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go with your. That's that's one of your. You say you have five cats. Yes, she's Lolita. Oh, Lolita. Uh, here, yeah, just, just, uh, no, ya se fue. <laughs> Nairobi. <laughs> okay. Good, uh -huh. good. Jimmy, do you have animals in your house? Yes, teacher. What do you have, Jimmy? What uh, do you have? Cats, dogs? Two dogs and one cat. Okay, good. Big dogs or small dogs? One, one dog, one big dog. Big dog. One, one and, big dog? And, and one small dog. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. good. No cats. Oh, you have one cat. One cat. One cat. Yes. Are they good friends? Uh, or do they fight? Um, how do you say? A veces? Sometimes. 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 Okay. Good. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, welcome back. Any questions or comments about the plans that you have for next week? So when you speak about next week, which tense do you use? Will. I'm going to. Okay, will or going to. We have like five different options to speak in future. You use will, you use going to. Mm -hmm. You use future continuous, future perfect. There are different options, but the ones that are very common is will and going to. All right. Um, any questions or comments about vocabulary or pronunciation? No? All right. No. Yes, ask me. Yes, How do you say días feriados? Holidays. Holiday. Okay. Holidays. Holidays, yes. Yes, holidays. What are the official holidays for next week? What dates? Fifth and sixth. Fifth and sixth. Okay. But if you work for the government, you it's have all week. the week off. Exactly. All week. It's all the week. It's all the week. All I'm right. going for to Friday. Really? Yes. So you work all week normal? No, I'm not going to work. Oh, so you're free all the week? Yes. Okay, good. Nice. Yeah, so, you know, some people get to rest a lot more than others. Okay. Um, do you remember the first topic that we covered on Monday? Smaller, bigger, more comparative. common. Comparative. Comparatives. Comparatives. Okay. So we have short adjectives and we have long adjectives. How do you make comparatives with short adjectives? When you have a, a one syllable, Good. you add ER. Good. When the adjective has one syllable, you add ER. So you say fast, mm -hmm. faster. Big, bigger. Yeah. Small, smaller. Very good. Now, how do you make comparatives if the adjective has two syllables? More than. More than. More than. More yes. beautiful. More beautiful. So you say, you are more beautiful than my uh, This cell phone is more expensive than the previous one. So you use uh, more. Now, what are the exceptions for short adjectives? That they finish in Y. For, but short adjectives. Short adjectives. Sure. Good. 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 Good and better. Bad. Bad and worse. And, and oh. far. Oh. Good, mm -hmm. bad, and far. What is the comparative of good? Better. 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 What is the comparative of bad? Worse. 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 And the comparative of far? 
Farther. 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 Very good. Now, those are the exceptions with short adjectives. What are the exceptions with long adjectives? Um. Uh -huh. So remember, uh, like Sofia said, if, if the adjective has one syllable, it's considered to be short. If it has two syllables or more, it's considered a long adjective. What is the exception? When the when the end uh, uh, more time to why exactly when the when the adjective finishes in letter y and it has two syllables, what is the comparative of pretty? Prettier, ugly. Oh, 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 chilly, chillier, chillier. So you say uglier, prettier, chillier. So you make exceptions because they finish in letter Y. Okay, are there any questions there? Any questions with that rule? No, maybe I left. Okay. So yes, in Ronald. The case, in the case of many, is other. Exception. Many? What is the comparative of many? Mm, I guess it's more. Yes. I think. Yes. All right. Okay. All okay. right. Any other comments or questions? No. Let me show you um, a document that I have here that you will discuss. Uh -huh. It's taking a little while. I hope it opens. Okay, can you see the document? Yes. Yeah. All right, let me let me take a picture so I can send it to your WhatsApp chat. Give me a second, give me a second. Group 18, group 18, right here. All right. Have you guys been doing the, the homework in the platform? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Did you finish everything? Yes. Yes. All right. The only one. Oh, 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 yeah, only the first part. Only the first part. Mm -hmm. uh, have you answered the questions that I wrote after the videos? Have you? Yes. Okay. That is part of your assignments to just write a little something. You know, the, the assignments that I give you there are easy to answer. Like, what do you prefer? I prefer pizza because it's more delicious or, or, or things like that. All right, so let me make the rooms again. I will eight and nine. All right, move to room eight. Move to, wait a minute. Move to room eight. Move to Room nine, move to room nine, and let's see who, where do we have three? Exchange with her, and I will exchange her with him. All right, so when you see your friend, when you see your couple, you guys will do the exercise that I assigned in the five, that I assigned in the, in the WhatsApp chat. Here we go.
I hear crickets. Okay, we yes. will start for the for the new with it. I don't know how newer. This new newer with W W W E M E W E R. Okay, newer. Long, longer. Longer. Um, expensive, more, more expensive. Smaller. Yes. Uh, better. Uh, worst. Yes. Faster. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. New, new. We one. can hear you. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi. I'm fine. Good. Are you? Which number are you guys doing right now? Number three. Okay, good. Expensive. Okay. More expensive. Hola. Mm. The new uh -huh. is newer. Give us some Gatorade, teacher. Sure. <laughs> Thank uh, you. What is what is the number of the bus to San Miguel? Three hundred what? One and um, four. Three hundred and four. And one. Three hundred and one. And yeah, the other one, Union, huh? yeah. San Salvador to La Union. Right, but it stops in San Miguel. But it stops in San Miguel. Okay, exactly. good. So w when the public transportation starts working again, I'll send you a a, a, a gateway. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Line, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. More expensive. More expensive. Big, bigger. And big, bigger. How do you spell w bigger? G exactly. With B double G. I G G R E R. Yes. When do you B double the last consonant? Do you remember the rule? W consonant when plus E R. Okay, but when do you double the last consonant? Cuando es que dobla la última consonante? Um, when the adjective uh, is short, it's short, and the last three letters are consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay. So big, Entonces, bigger. Bigger. Uh huh. Long, longer. Longer. Or not longer. Longer, longer. Longer. Mm hmm. Um. Mm, 
and one consonant teacher. Uh, long. Long it has only one uh, one syllable. Ah, okay. Yes, but you don't double the G, only if you have a consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay. All right. In uh, 14. 14 only add the E R farther. Fat, e. fa, farther. Farther. For, farther. 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 Only one farther. T or two. No, no, only one. Farther. Farther. Ah, okay. So you say San Miguel is far, but La Unión is farther. Me, okay. okay. Uh -huh. WT? No. No, no only, no, only one. one T. Okay. 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 Um. Longer. 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 Taller. Mm -hmm. More intelligent. Good. Okay. Young. Longer. Long, longer. 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 Yes. Okay. Large. Okay. Large. Larger. 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 Uh -huh. larger. larger. Tall. Taller. Tall. Taller. More. Uh, more intelligent. More intelligent. Okay, the second part. Right, the comparison. Uh, the nine. My friends is shorter than yours. Teacher. Yes, sir. I remember that if the first expression, like elephants, that is in plural. Uh huh. Uh, you have to use something in the comparative. I don't know if you have to use your uh, an S, heavier, heaviest? No, heavier? no. You say elephants are heavier than oh, ants. Okay. Remember that in English, adjectives are never plural. Never, never. Oh, it, okay. It's different than Spanish because in Spanish you say caros, bonitos, feos. You make it plural, but in English, that doesn't exist. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Did you finish or are you doing any number in particular? I finished. Uh, we, we finished. Okay, so let's let's give one more minute to all the others. Uh, one more minute. All right. Faster than bicycle. Car are faster. Faster. Mm -hmm. Number two, elephants are heavier or more heavy. Heavier. 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 Yeah. Heavier. Teacher, I longer as the other little. Not bad. Uh, in in young, uh, has a two vowel, not a single vowel. Ah, okay. Yes, okay. maybe in. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Somebody had a question here? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is the Me, question, ladies? I mean it's out of the 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 homework. Okay. The pictures that you sent us um that is not in the book, right? No, uh the homework that I wrote to you about uh, this morning is in the platform. No, I know. I I mean about the picture that you sent us. Uh, which picture, Helen? Uh, the ones that we are working on. Uh, no, no, it, it's not in the book. It's not in the platform. It's additional material. Ah, uh, okay. That that's my question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. 
Thank you. All right, let's go back. All right, welcome back. Let's get uh, the answers. Uh, what is the answer for number one, volunteer? Newer. 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 Number Newer. two? Newer. Longer. 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 Number three? More, More expensive. expensive. Number More four? Expensive. Bigger. 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 How do you spell bigger? B I I I R E R one G or double G? Double G. Why double G? Why? What is the rule? B as boy. Okay, so uh double G, but why double G? Because N in a consonant. Okay. Consonant. Because it has one syllable, and the syllable is made of consonant, vowel, consonant. So uh, when you have a, a short adjective that has one syllable, and the last three letters are consonant, vowel, consonant, you have to double the last consonant. Very good. Small? Smaller. Smaller. Number six? Better. 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 Number seven? Worse. Worse. Number eight. Worse. Number nine. Senior. Aha. Uh -huh. One N or double N? Double N. Double N. Double N because you have a consonant, vowel, consonant. So you double the last consonant. What about number 10? Prettier. 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 11. Slower. Beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. Exciting. More exciting. 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 Fat. 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 One T or double T? Double T. Very double good. T. Clean. Cleaner. 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 Handsome. More, More handsome. handsome. Young. Younger. 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 Large. Larger. 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 Tall. Intelligent. intelligent. More intelligent. intelligent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. That's a very good job. Okay, let's go to the second part. Cars are faster. Faster. elephants are heavier than heavier. my brother is worse than me at Worse. Good. Very good. Mount Everest is higher. Than higher. higher. Very good. Snakes are usually longer. longer, longer. Than worse. longer February than worse. is it's colder than January. Very good. good. Chinese is yes. more, more difficult. More difficult. Good. Good. What about number eight? I am Younger. 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 My Than pencil my is shorter. Shorter. And my brother is better. 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 Very good. Nice. Nice. Very good. Any questions or comments? <coughs> this exercise. You guys are doing good. Congratulations. Um, do you remember the other topic, fanboys? Yes. Who remembers fanboys? Conjunction. Exactly. So, uh, so fanboys, what does F stand for? Um, Letter F. For. 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 And no, 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 but but yet, but yet, or, or yet. why yet, yet, yet. 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 a yet. letter yet. S stands for oh. 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 so. All right, good. So let me show you this here. 
You see the document? Yes. Okay. So we have fanboys. So uh, what is another form to say for? Because. 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 And? In addition. In addition to. Nor? And not. And not. So the first one is negative. The second one is negative also. But. But. However. 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 Either. 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 Yet. But. But. And so. Therefore. 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 All right. Let me take a picture of this um of this image. These are other options to use. Uh, you can see this here. All right. Are there any questions with the other options about vocabulary here? The ones you just read. No. For example, in the case of of either. Uh huh. Uh, the core, the 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 way to say that is, for example, we could go. We could we could go. Either to a zoo, or we could go to a theme park. Yes, that is the correct form to use it. Or um, I can tell you, look, you can either choose today or tomorrow. Okay. Uh-huh. So you use either when you're, when you're offering two options. Yes? What is the question? I, I always get confused uh, of the difference of either and neither. Okay. Um, either is usually used at the end. So how do you say yo tampoco in English? Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Uh -huh. me neither e do I. Me either me or neither. neither do I. So the answer to, to the question is that you use them in a different position, but they have exactly the same function. Uh, okay. Yes. Thank okay. How do you say however in Spanish? Sin embargo. Sin embargo, right. Okay. So uh, can somebody please read the first example? Sam drank. Sam drank some water. For he was thirsty. 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 What does mean thirsty? Okay. Uh huh. Thirsty, like I'm speaking. I am thirsty, so I drink water. Mm, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Plus, it's Friday night. That is other other example. Yes. <laughs> Your throat starts to itch. Okay. So, um, Sam drank some water because he was thirsty. I take milk and sugar in my tea. What about number three? Sarah doesn't like apples, nor does she like spears. Uh huh. How do you say that sentence in Spanish? A Sarah no le gustan las manzanas ni tampoco las peras. Very good, very good. What about the next one? Another volunteer? All the, All the children want to eat pizza, but no one wants to buy it. Okay, yes. What about the other example? We could. We could, we could go to a zoo or we could go to a theme park. Okay, good. Uh, the next sentence. The water was cold and wet. Wet? Yet we, wet. Uh -huh. <laughs> yet we enjoyed it very much. Okay. How do you say that sentence in Spanish? El clima estaba el frío y húmedo. Frío y húmedo. Frío y húmedo. Ajá. Yet. Pero lo disfrutamos. Good. Good. Pero lo disfrutamos mucho. Sí, lo disfrutamos. Sin embargo, mucho. ellos lo disfrutan mucho. Yeah. Okay. Pero, sin embargo, ajá. And the last one, another volunteer. Yes. He, he is sick, sir. 
Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah. He is sick, so he is not going to the school. Good. So he's sick, so he's not going to the school. Any questions here? About you can four? use therefore as as so. Uh yes. So you can say he is sick, therefore he's not going to the school. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I'm showing you this. Here you have the fanboys conjunctions, and here on the right side you have the other options of how to say it. Any questions? When you use the other options, yeah, you put on in the same place when you use the fun boys? Uh, not exactly, not all the time. And that's a very good question. Um, just because they are synonyms, they cannot be used exactly the same way. Okay. So you need to, and, and this topic here, like because, however, either, therefore, uh, these conjunctions uh, will be seen like in two or three levels, I think. So they will teach you how to use it. But just because they're synonyms does not mean that they can be used exactly in the same place. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Any questions or comments? No? Okay, so let me check who is not here. I, I have a question. Too. Yes, ask me. So now, so now I have already understood uh, what about conjunction, but uh, this type of conjunction is, is the only or we have others? Uh, it depends. Conjunctions um, come in different forms. These ones are like very general. Okay. But there are other topics that they have different conjunctions with a different name. Yep. So right now, these are like the general ones, but you will see others with other names. Okay. Yes. Thanks. All right. So um, before you guys go to the next activity, I'm going to take attendance. Uh, Teacher. Yes. Can you please give me a, an example of how can we use and not? Ah, uh, hold on. Because I was trying to imagine a way to use it for what you say of uh, you can use in the same way, but I I don't. Mm. All right, Lee, give me a second. New share. Okay. Uh, which one did you say, uh, Samuel? Uh, the other way to say no. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and and that's, that's related to Sophia's question. Can you use it in the same position? No, not necessarily. This no, I know. Yes, yes. I, I, I want an example. Okay. So if you say, look, she, she didn't go to the supermarket and did not go to the park either. So this one here, it gives you just an idea of what the meaning of nor is. Y no. So Sarah doesn't like apples, nor does she like pears. So no le gustan las manzanas, ni tampoco las peras. So this one here, and not, cannot be used exactly like this one here. This is used to give you an idea of something you can use as reference. So you can say it, uh, I finished my homework for mathematics and not the one for English. So you can use uh, okay. it literally like this, but in a different situation. Okay. Yes. Anybody else has any other questions or comments? No? All right. So... Sofia Stephanie? Present. Okay. Fernando Arturo? Present, teacher. All right. Uh, Coralia Rivera? Present. Good. 
Uh, Ronald Humberto. Present. Good. Uh, Katia Marcela. Present. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Good. Christian Alexander. Present. Good. Josué Edgardo. Present. Good. Jimena Alexandra. Present. Good. Samuel Rosales. No. Samuel. Present. Good. Present. Okay. Rocío Mejía. Rocío. 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 Okay. I will mark her as absent for now. Uh, Mercy Carolina. Present. Good. Araceli. Present. Good. Maria del Carmen. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Helen Mercedes. Present. Good. Uh, Luis Alberto. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Oh, she said she was going to incorporate later. Okay. Um, Christian Omar. Present teacher. All right. Wendy Guadalupe. Present. Good. And Magdalena. Present teacher. Very good. Okay. So teacher, I'm here. Oh, Rocio. Okay. Rocio, <laughs> Rocio, Mejia. Very good. Thank you. All right. So remember, when I'm taking attendance, you know, when they monitor, like, uh, they check if you are really there. So make sure you don't disappear. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Fanboys. All right. Uh, the last, well, this week, this week we were working with making menus, beverages, appetizers, main dish, blah, 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 and, and other, um, other parts of a menu. So what, besides the sections of, of, of the food, what other things can you find in a menu? Brands. What is it? Brands. Brands, yes, exactly. So you have a beer, you have to mention, is it Pilsener, Corona? So you mentioned the brands, exactly. Uh, what else do you put in a menu? Prices. Prices. You know, like people, I think that the food and the prices is the main reason why people create menus. Like, okay, so carne asada, $5, so prices. What other information do you write in a menu? A little description about the, di the dish. Yes, a little description about the dish, right? Anything else? What else do you include in a menu? Maybe a photo. A photo? A photo of what, Sophie? About the dish. Presentation. Okay, good, good, all right. So uh, when we create a menu, we use vocabulary. So let me ask you, when you have a new word, what do you do with the new word? How, how do you say ferretería in English? Workshop. Hardware store. A hardware store. Very good. So now they say, okay, ferretería, hardware store. Let, let, I think I wrote it in the chat. Yes. Yeah, hardware store. It's in the chat. Hello. Hardware store. Okay, so let me let me ask you. Now that you know how to say ferretería, what are you going to do with this word? How are you going to remember the word? Because hardware is like a computer, but okay. 
So, how, how can you practice this word? I can't listen, sorry. Okay, how can what? you use the new word? How can you practice it? How? So, mm. when you learn a new word, how do you use it? How do you practice this word? Repeat. For me, repeat five. Five times. Five writing times. And okay, uh, right. Associate with other. Aha, uh -huh. associated with another word. You go from yes. known to unknown. Very good. Yes. Okay. Um, so when you have a new word, there are five things you need to know about this particular word. <laughs> Do you know those five things? <laughs> Uh, that you should know about a new word? No. Like, uh, okay, hardware store. What five aspects do you need to know about this word? Mm. I will give you a tip. You need to know the pronunciation of the word. Mm -hmm. The what meaning else? of the word. The, the meaning, meaning of the word. Okay, pronunciation, okay. meaning, what else? How, how do you spell that word? The spelling, aha, uh -huh. what else? Writing. Okay, writing is the same as spelling. Hmm. Uh -huh. The different uses. Aha, uh -huh. how to use it, exactly, very good. And what is the last one? If that word have uh, has a synonym. Okay. Uh, there you will be saying like how to use it. Like, okay, can you use it in this case? So we need one more. Let, let me, um, hold on. I will, uh -huh. room two. Two, four. Move to room five. And move to room seven. And then move to room eight. Okay. I will give you a few minutes to work in groups and discuss the five things you need to know about a new word. So if you were paying attention to uh, Ronald, you're very close to getting the, the, the number five. So here we go. What are the five things you need to know? What are the five things you need to know about a new word? about a new word. Hello, Araceli. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Uh, my day, yeah. Uh, uh, Great. 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 Let me see. Araceli. You're in San Jose Villanueva. Yes, I am living in San Jose Villanueva. And where do you work, Araceli? I work in Pantinaí. Oh, do you make bread? No, I am a accountant. This is oh, accountant. Oh, okay, good, good. So you like numbers? Um, yes. Okay, so let me move you to uh, room seven. Uh, okay. All right. 
So, how many do you have? Do, do you have the five? No, uh, we have three. three. You have three. Oh, which three? Two. Which three do you have? The meaning. Okay, pronunciation meaning. Josue Delgado. Okay, spelling. Which one did you mention, Josue? Uh, I mentioned the the uses the how in to different use context. It. How to, How use to use it. Very good. So what is number five? Think about it. To use it meaning, spelling, pronunciation, writing. writing. Okay, spelling is the same as writing. Mm -hmm. okay. so, they, so they're synonyms. Okay. You, maybe you will remember the word. word. Exactly. So, do you have the five? No, teacher. But Not yet. I, Not yet. I just, I Google it. Maybe okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Google, Google will give you the answer in a few seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How many? Um, hi, teacher. Hello. How many do you have so far? In the moment, um, four teacher. For example, oh. spell, repeat. Uh, what is the good pronunciation? Uh, write or make a different sentence. Okay. Now, when you say, I know the synonym. Okay. Synonym. When you say repeat, that is included in pronunciation because they're connected. Oh, okay. so, you, so you need to eliminate repeat and use only pronunciation. Okay. Okay, repeat. Spelling. Spelling it's, a... is, is good. So spelling is the same as uh, as writing. Pronunciation. Uh, writing. Right. right. Okay. Spell. What is the mean? Okay, the, the spelling, the meaning. What else? Spelling, the meaning. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Good. The cinema. Okay. Only three. Uh, Maria, say something about using a different sentences. Okay. So how? Okay. So she's doing okay. How will you transfer Maria's opinion in another form? Mm. Maria, what exactly did you say? What was your opinion, Maria? I, say, I said um, we can use uh -huh. different sentences. Okay, we can use... So, one of the five aspects you need to know is how to use it. So you can say, oh, I know the meaning of that word, but how can I use it? It's a whole different story. Okay. So another one is how to use the word. How to use the word. How to use the word. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, so spelling. Yes, the babies associate is it uh -huh. not baby like a, a like a dogs dog uh -huh. okay. that it's cookie not for the not because they know this name only a associate the this action uh, uh, ex this exactly. moment uh -huh. okay and when you and say image. Yes. Image. the meaning. And the baby is associated the image uh, uh, of our picture. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, how many how many aspects do you have so far? Do you have the five? Yes. Yes. What What are the no, the names of the five? Uh, sound. 
Okay, when you say sound, what exactly do you mean? For example, Araceli say, not is the same three and three. Okay, so what is that? So when you say, is it three or three? What am I practicing? Listen yeah. to you. What am I practicing there? Okay, say three or three. Is it 40 or 14? What am so I practice practicing? your pronunciation. Exactly. So pronunciation is one of them. We oh, separate okay. uh, we separate both because you you learn no, you you identify with your ears. Uh huh. And other is what how you say how you. Okay, I, I understand your point, but here's no. the thing: when you mention like okay, pronunciation is one. So yes. one example is, okay, is it three or a mango tree? Mango so, tree. It, so how many children do you have? I have three. No, it's not three, it's three. So you need to know mm -hmm. how to pronounce. But we're gonna discuss that in, in, in the group when we get back to the main session. Okay. Yeah, so what, what others do you have? Associate. Okay, when you say associate, what do you mean? When, like a like a babies or dogs when you give when you doing an action, for example, when you uh, give a food, they they associate this action with the this word. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll talk about that when we get to the main session. Good, very good. Okay. Hello, did okay. you guys finish? Yeah, uh, we have more than five. One, uh, <laughs> one must be correct. <laughs> okay, so because... how, many, how many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> we have two more, okay. but I don't know. Okay. Are you okay. listening? Listening okay. uh -huh. comprehension. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay, because, that is one. Uh, no, two. Listening the first and second comprehension. Okay. What else? What else do you have? The spelling. Okay, spelling. Hey. How do you how do you how do you use? Good. Mm, uh, Starting. Um, teacher, on uh -huh. many on many occasion, one listen but does no 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 what the words mean. Okay, so okay from the ones you mentioned, two of them are good. Spelling. Mm -hmm. And and you say pronunciation. Do you say pronunciation? Yes. Okay, yes. so pronunciation and spelling, those are two. So uh when you mention, for example, when you say spelling, spelling comes in two forms. So if I said, um, imagine Fernando, how do you spell your last name? He says, Oh, my last name is me uh Minero. How do you spell Minero. it? M-I-N-E-R-O, so I write yeah. it, right? But what happens if I'm talking on the phone with him and I have nothing to write, how is he going to spell it? So imagine that that question takes place in a classroom. Say, Francisco, how do you spell your last name? <clears throat> and I put it on the board, Marroquin. <laughs> But what happens if I'm speaking with you on the phone and I won't have anything to, to physically write it? So how, how would you spell it? So the spelling Teacher, comes, yes. uh-huh, yes. I, ha I, I have the word, I can study it. And okay. the spelling. Okay, okay, so we'll be talking about this when we get back to the main session, don't worry. Mm. We're going okay. back right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hola.
All right. Can you mention one of the aspects? Only one. Yes. I'm listening. Grammar. Grammar? Who said grammar? Yo, Samuel, me. Good. Part of grammar. Very good. Search so, the, search the meaning of the word. The meaning of the word. That is very important. The meaning of the word. Number three. Associate. Okay, when you say associate, what exactly do you mean? Um, Paul, you associate uh, food with a... With, uh, with, uh, <laughs> with, with another with word. The apples, with the apples, chicken, restaurants, uh, uh, other stuff like that. And, and you associate this word with the... Uh, areas of your life or applications too. Okay, good. Uh, what uh, Sophia is saying, do you guys remember Jean Piaget? Do you remember him? Well, he, he had a, 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 a position that when we are learning, it's always good to do what Sophia is explaining. You make connections of what you already have here with the new things mm -hmm. for example when you go to a bar and you say give me one drink where do you sit you are in a bar and you ask for a drink where do you sit ¿Dónde se sienta? on the chair okay chair is an option how do you say banquito in it? bank Okay, and if you get money. But where you sit? Okay, how do you say herramienta? Tool. 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 So if you want to say banquito, you put letter S at the beginning. And you say stool. Stool. So that is an example of what Sofia is explaining now. You make a connection with something that you already know. So next week, if I ask you, how do you say banquito in English? You know how to say herramienta. You know how to say tool. Mm -hmm. So you make a connection of what you already know with the new mm -hmm. word. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you're making connections. You're making connections. Association is one of the part of the new. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's important when you are in the learning process. But I need you to be more specific. Can you say that in a different way? So part of grammar, meaning? So that you get the meaning, maybe you make a sentence with that work. Okay. Okay, so how can you explain that? So if I know the meaning of the word, I will make a sentence, right? So, part of grammar, meaning, spelling. Context? I think context. Okay, the context, can you be, can you use other words to say that? Useful. Not use. I don't know. Right there. That, that is good. How to use it? How to use it? I need one more. The pronunciation? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so here, here is the message. When you, when you find a new word, these are the five aspects you need to know. You need to know the power of grammar, the meaning, spelling, how to use it, and pronunciation. Now, the five aspects are very important. Which three do you think are priority? First, the meaning, I guess. Okay, the meaning. meaning 
And pronunciation. Pronunciation. Start with grammar. For me, it's very important. Okay. It's my part of grammar. Okay. So let me ask you this: When you're having a conversation, a real conversation, do you mention grammar? Oh, you're using adjectives. Oh, you're no. using adverbs. No. 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 So grammar, grammar is important but it's not one of the three priorities. So okay. which are the three? Use meaning and pronunciation. Pronunciation, pronunciation. and how to, use. how to use it. How to use it, exactly. So the, the ones that are really important are meaning, wait, meaning, how to use it, and pronunciation so like i said the five aspects are really important but in a real conversation the ones you really use are only three and that is the meaning how to use it and how to pronounce the word any questions or comments here no no are we okay thank you Okay, so uh, how do you say hay un 40% de descuento? 40% off. That is an option, 40% off. What is another form to say off? Do you remember the word discount? Yes. Okay. So you can say, I bought the sofa because it had a 40% discount. Tenía un 40% descuento. So here's what I'm saying. So you know how to say descuento, but you need to know how to use it. So you receive your check, and I said, me descontaron lo del banco, me descontaron lo de la préstamo, whatever. You don't say discount. What is the correct word? Discount. Deduction. How do you say me descontaron lo del banco? Yes, uh, they, they made a deduction. Uh-huh. Or they made a deduction. Exactly. So this is an example of, you need to know how to use the word. You see what I mean? So you know the word, you know how to pronounce it, you know the part of grammar, but sometimes we have issues on how to use that word. So we gotta be careful with that. Okay, um, any questions or comments? No? All right. So yesterday, we left um, our session on page 15. We were discussing the function of could and might. We use could and might to give suggestions. No, for not. So what if I tell you I need to lose weight? What suggestion would you give, Francisco? You could... You could you could do exercise. You, you could may do exercise. want to eat healthy. You may want to eat healthy. Uh -huh. Or you might want to eat healthy. Okay. So the two examples are perfect. You could do exercise or you might want to eat healthy. So the two sentences are suggestions. So in this topic, we're using could and might to give suggestions. So please go to page 15 of the book. Let me see this here. This is history. <laughs> the book is opening. Right there. Page 15. 
14, 15. Okay, do you see exercise three? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so if you want to give a suggestion, what would you say in number one? You could discount the green paper. Yes, you could discount the green paper sticks that never sell. So in that case, if the green paper sticks mm -hmm. are $2, well, make a discount, make it, sell it for $1. What about sentence number two? You may want to have a promotional activity to close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game, exactly. You might want, you might want. What about number three? You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Good, very good. So you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event, very good. So the three examples, you are giving suggestions. Any questions there? No. Questions or comments? Okay, here's the explanation. I need a volunteer to read uh, this part. It's cool to make suggestions. Mm -hmm. You could talk to your manager about bonding products for the promotional event. You could generate business in a community event. 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 Event, very good. <clears throat> Use good to make suggestions. So imagine you live in a place where it's very hot. You say, man, we could plant some trees here. So you're making a suggestion. You could talk to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event. Do you remember the meaning of bundling? Um. What is bundling? I don't Rock. remember Inquesta. the Inquesta. What is it? Inquesta. Not exactly. Bundling. When you offer several products for sales young. as one combined product. Exactly. So imagine that Gatorade has a new flavor. It's the first time they do it. So maybe they attach the new flavor when you buy one that the flavor is already known to you. So that is bundling. When you put different products and in the middle of those products, you have the new product. Okay, um, any questions on this part here? On the could section, the left side. Questions? No? So I need another volunteer to read the part on the right, please. Volunteer. Why is ah. often used with want or like to add poli politeness? Politeness. Politeness. Uh -huh. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. Okay. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black, Black Friday. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you, Coralia. So, might is often used with want or like to add politeness. What is the meaning of politeness? Es elegante. Yeah. Um, formal. Por yeah. To, to, to sound more elegant, more professional. So you say politeness. Yeah. So you use could to make suggestions and you use might to also make suggestions but you want to sound more elegant when you say might. Mm, okay. Any questions right. about the vocabulary your friends just read? No? Okay, so let me... Part five. And take a picture. We're almost finished, people. Don't despair. 
group 18. Teacher, I have a yes. question. Ask me. Always when we see in the sentence want or like, always we use might. If you want to sound more professional, if you want to sound more polite, yes. So uh, imagine mm -hmm. that uh, you are in a house and it's very hot. And you tell your friend, you might want to turn on the air conditioner. You might want to uh, sleep in the patio, maybe. It's a very nice way to say uh, suggestions in a better way. Yep. Okay. Um, let me, I sent you the, the image. I will assign you to work in pairs this time. So I will have room one, room one. And we have room three, room three. Move to room six. Move to room six as well. So he's moving to room nine. And he's moving to room nine as well. So her. Here, all right, here we go. So when, when, when your room opens, I want you to do exercise five and exercise six. I will send you the, the image for number six when, uh, in a few seconds. We could drive a car coverage in productivity. Number two, the boss want to start the event with pitch. Hello, hello. Hello. Which one are you doing? Um, we are <laughs> uh, starting right now <laughs> oh you're about to start okay yes yes that's good uh, start off what was off marcella presentation oh my tablet is start off oh okay don't worry mercy no, mercy will explain to you she will explain okay. to you what we're doing <laughs> okay uh, my life to launch a new line of kids meals. Yes, mine because we are. Che a es a z. The mini bundle. As. What is the mini bundle? Bundling is when you when you have a new product and you include it in a package or in a group with products that people already know. So I was giving you the example, if Gatorade wants to present a new flavor, 
they will use bundling. They will use flavors that are already known to the public and they include the new one, maybe for free. Yes. Is the same that in part five, uh, three, three sentence, try to bundle it? Yes. Right, right. Okay. It's the same? Yeah, yeah. Bundle okay. up. Yeah. Bundle up bundle is, up. A, um, is a phrasal verb, bundle up. But it's the same, same as okay. bundling. Yes. Okay. okay. Try to bundle up. Thank you. Mike, uh huh. Want to start the, the event with the speech. The uh -huh. talent thing. Cool. Cool. Treat the bundle up the food while collect. Collectively more. Collectible. No se pronuncia el collective. Collectible. 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 Manager me. 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 Like Manager me. Guys, me. The uh -huh. you, see, you have to bundle up. It's cool outside. She bundle up her belongings and put them in a bag. Y en ese mismo contexto, ¿qué, qué te parece que qué es? Abrigar, o sea, como abrigarte. Yeah. Which number? Number three. Number three. Bundle up. Yeah, bundle up is the same as bundling. But it's not ah. a phrase. Yeah, here it's in a, in the form of a phrasal verb. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the same as bundling. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's the same one. Okay. Okay. You guys are room eight. So I want to visit room nine. The number six, the store. The store cool. Mm. The store cool want to use for um, because la tienda podría querer usar una oferta de lealtad para la persona. Mm. The cool. The, the number six oh. cool. Yeah. Okay. For me, Mike. And oh. <laughs> Which number? Which number? Number six. Number, no, number six. six. Yeah, might. Might, okay. Yeah. Now, in a real life conversation, you could say, well, the store could want to use, it's normal, but grammatically speaking, might is better. Ah, uh, better, it's mejor, okay. Yeah, it might sounds better than could. Um. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Five. Ooh. And then the number four is is Mike. 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 Uh, the, the number four. Yes. Mike is good. Oh, the number four. Okay. Yes. El event along a holiday like Black Friday. Uh, so I, I think they use my in so was used with these two words. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a recommendation that you <laughs> use my to make a combination with want and like. It's it's just a recommendation. So it sounds very very but, polite. But no is is a, uh, no, a no, it's not mandatory. No, it's a rule. No, it's not a rule, but it's a, it's a suggestion that they give you, so you sound very nice, very elegant. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, this... <gasps> Hi, teacher. Hello. Which okay. number are you doing? Uh, letter D. 
loyally offering. Uh, loyalty. Loyalty offering. Loyalty offerings. offerings. Loyalty. Loyalty offerings. Loyalty offerings. Loyalty offering. Yes. So, what is the meaning of the mean? word loyal? Loyal. Lealta. Yes. Lealta. Yeah. Loyalty refers to being uh, fidel to to a person or organization. Yeah. Okay. So loyalty is when you say, uh, "I only drink." Uh, Leche dos pinos. So I'm loyal to dos pinos. Yep. Oh. So you're okay. right, Luis. Loyalty. Yes, loyalty. loyalty. Yes. <laughs> How do you say distribute? Distribute. 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 Yes. Distributed. So you say, I have a hundred dollars and they need to be distributed in four equal parts. Distributed. 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 Okay. Have... Yes. Distributed. Distributed. Okay. Distributed. Which number are you doing right now? We finish. Uh, you finish part five. And six. In six, six too. Okay. Six, yes. So just give me one more minute before we go to the main session. Okay. Okay. I I, I only visit uh, the the town. I think that is a town. Uh, yes. Just once time. Once. Uh, yes. Yes. you only once, but. I on, I always want to. I have the the idea of of travel to. So Berlin. came again. Okay. Okay. That which, would be perfect. Which town are you talking about? Berlin, Usulután. Oh, okay. Berlin. I think that is in Usulután. Yeah, Berlin is in Usulután. I went when I was a kid. Okay. And I really enjoy the the infrast infrast structure of the house okay why what, what what how are the houses there are they like old style yes it's an old style old old style house okay all right yes yeah oriente has some beautiful places very beautiful places yes they okay. are beautiful. A small sure. part, beautiful. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's the hottest part of El Salvador, you know, San Miguel, Union, and all those. You guys finish the exercises five and six? Five yes. and six. No, only five. Uh, only five. Okay. We start talking about something else. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but Don't... I but I already did it yesterday so i don't know if if it's okay so. okay so we'll go over the answers when we go back to the main session all right so what what part are you doing which number are you doing um the number yet we are discussing about my call yet uh which where are you what what part number five number five uh the event be scheduled for christmas to increase sales yes that one is that one or, or is it different no 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 we done the part five we're going to do the part six. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to go back to the main session, but. All right, were you able to finish parts five and six? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, may I have a volunteer to do number two of part five? Somebody, the anybody? Boss, the uh -huh. boss might want to start the evening with a speech. Okay, good. Is that common in El Salvador? That if before an event, someone gives a speech? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So it's not mandatory, but it's common to see people talking. Okay, what about number three, the sales team? The sales team could try to build up the food with collectible mugs. Okay, good. So what is a mug? Collectible mugs. What mugs. is a mug? Tassas. Tassas. Yeah. So like you say, look, here are collectible mugs. Inside, you can put uh, uh, the new example, the, 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 new, the new product. What about number four? The manager might like to launch a new line of kids' meals. Good. The manager might like to launch a new line of kids' meals. Good. Very good. What about number five? Somebody, anybody. The event? Will be a schedule for Christmas to increase sales. Good. Very good. Number six? The store might want to use a logically property for people who do business with, with use frequently. Frequently. Very good. Very good. All right. Any questions on part five? Do you usually go to the same supermarket all the time or do you buy anywhere? At the same usually. At okay. Same. Yeah. So you know where to find the meat, the pastas, the fruits, and everything. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's go to part six. Match these words to describe promotional strategies to their meaning. Uh, we have publicity stunts, bundling, public relations, loyalty offerings, and sampling. Uh, who has the answer for letter A? Publicity stunts. A plan event is to attract the public. Okay. In El Salvador, uh, companies, they do things to attract people's attention. How do they do that? They put a beautiful girl in front of the store. Good. They, pu they, they, they uh, put beautiful girls in front of the stores. Good. What is another technique they use? The color, using psychology colors. Okay, psychology colors. Okay, what else? Uh huh. Do you know that sometimes they put a big speaker at the entrance with loud music? <laughs> yeah. Or sometimes. How do you say ventilador in English? Fan. 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 Or sometimes fan. they have something like a fan with an ornament blowing in the air just to catch your attention. That's another one. Okay. Exactly. So publicity stunts is a plan event designed to attract the people's attention. What about number two? How, Letter B, how do you, how, Yes. How do, you, how do you say in English? Uh, Botarga, como por ejemplo cuando ponen eso, la gente que se disfraza y se mete dentro de un... Oh, customs. Ah, customs. Customs. Customs means disfraz. So some people, uh -huh. they use customs to attract people's attention. Yes. Right. So what is bundling? What is letter B, bundling? Offering. Good. Offering several products for sale as one combined product. Very good. What about public relations? Professional. Okay. So we say the professional maintenance of a favorable public 
image. Maintenance. 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 What is the meaning of maintenance? Maintenance. What is the meaning in Spanish? Mantenimiento. Now, when you see the word, when you say the word maintenance, how many syllables do you hear? Three. Maintenance. Two. Maintenance. Two. 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 What do you call what do you call it when you have two vowels together? Diptongo. A diptong, exactly. A diptong. Dip right. So in English we also have diptongs. And sometimes we have independent sounds. So maintenance has a diptong. Okay. Uh, loyalty offerings, letter D. Personal incentive. Personalized. 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 How many syllables do you hear in personalized? Personalized. Four. Four. Four is Four. correct. Personalized. Personalized. So remember, the number, the number of vowels that you hear will indicate the number of syllables that the word has. So personalize we got four uh, right, uh, that that word in the chat personalized personalized let me see this here we say per so na lies Personalized. 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 Thanks. Thanks, teacher. Okay, good. How do you identify the number of syllables in a word? Can or you remind me? The number me? Of, of vowels that you hear. Very good. The number of vowels that you hear vowels. will indicate how many syllables the word has. And the last one sampling. What is sampling? It's like a the promotion of a product. Promotion of the product. Distributing samples of it. Okay, distributing samples of it. Very good. What is the meaning of sample? Do you remember? Muestra. Muestra. Yes. Okay. Now, where can you get free samples of a product? In supermarket. In the supermarket. Yes. O other places where you can receive free per, uh, samples? What happens if you buy a perfume or a cologne uh, in Sears or, or Simang? They give you a sample. They, they give you samples, yes. So uh, they give you small portions of the new fragrance so you can try it on. Other places where you can get free samples? In the market. In the market? Yes. Market, supermarket, drugstores, pharmacies? Could be. All right. Do you guys have any questions or comments? No. No. Are you guys ready to go on vacation? Yes. 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 All right. So, so remember, you guys need to finish the homework in the platform. We assign you a grade every week, every week, every week. So you guys need to manage your time and distribute your time uh, accordingly. So any questions before we go? No. So I hope you guys have a nice vacation. Uh, enjoy your family, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, your children, your parents, anybody that is around you. So thank you for making the space again. And I will see you on August 10th. Okay. So you have a nice vacation. My teacher. You All too. right, see you later. Have a good night. Good night, teacher.
Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya. Bye everyone. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, ask me. Yo me siento un poco perdida. ¿Me puedo pasar a un curso menor? Uh, that's a good question, but I don't see you lost. Honestly, I don't see you lost. No la veo perdida. Uh, but in if you're really interested in changing, you have to speak with administration and they will tell you what changes you need to make. Okay. Porque todos los cursos empezaron ya. Entonces, sí. eh, eh, y como todo queda registrado con Insafor, uh, no mm -hmm. creo que la puedan cambiar bruscamente. En el peor de los casos, te dirían, termine donde está ahorita y después podemos ver si la podemos reubicar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you can, uh, like I said, you can send an email to administration and they will tell you what to do. Okay. Yeah, sí, pero yo no veo que esté desubicado usted, Stephanie. Es que lo, lo que me pasa es que, va, yo entiendo lo que me dice, pero Ajá. ya no, y sé lo que le tengo que decir. Ajá. Pero, pero ya cómo responderlo en inglés, ahí. Es okay. como, cuando ya me, me voy a acostar, ay, qué bruta, le tuve que haber dicho eso. <risa> <risa> como que Don't media worry. hora después mi cerebro. Don't reacciona. worry. Hoy en vacación le recomiendo que empiece a ojear la unidad 2 eh, sí. para que venga más confidente cuando regresemos de vacación. Ok. Yeah. Y lo que he estado haciendo es que me levanto en la mañana y, y repito la clase. Good. Solo Very good. Very good. Nice. Para, nice. Para ir practicando ya. That's excellent. Very good. Ok. Ok, good. Entonces, All right, so. El, este curso y, yeah. y a ver cómo me va. Ok, very good. No quisiera que se fuera, pero si quiere probar algo más bajo, pues ya es decisión suya. Okay. All right, Thank good. You. Have a good night. Have a nice vacation. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye.